right, so we got some new machines called the Trilogy EC by Philips. Um, so these machines are for home use, um, BiPAP use, or um, low acuity patients. And we can, our biggest use is gonna be for BiPAP or low acuity patient transports. It's quite portable and light. Um, and so for transports um, with your patients who are low acuity, it works well. The reason we highlight that low acuity is instead of having a high pressure oxygen hose, we just have this little white port in the back here. And this is where we plug in our oxygen tubing um, and then we hook the other end of the tubing up into a flow meter and you can run it anywhere from one to 15 liters per minute um, and it will give the patient oxygen from there. So depending on how fast the patient is breathing and how much volume they're taking, you can get maybe FiO2s of 50 or 60. Um, if for a pediatric patient, probably a little bit higher. Um, for tubings for the patient, it's actually a very simple setup. It's just one single tube, these same tubes um, there's that we use for trach cradles or BiPAP is all we need. The patient connection, there's you need either a port or an HME with the little white cap taken off because exhalation happens passively. They're going to exhale passively out of this port um, and the machine is calibrated for that passive exhalation. So if you're going to if you end up accidentally closing this port, your patient is unable to exhale and you will have trouble with high CO2s. Um, to turn the machine on, you just hit the power on button and it will come automatically on to the last settings. Um, so you can see the current mode up here. So we're right now on passive AC. That passive implies this exhalation port like this. And that's the way we're going to use this machine to change. If we look right now, we can see the values. We've, this is a pressure graph showing our pressures. Um, the L and the H are our high and low pressure alarm settings. We can read our pressures numerically here. Respiratory rate, we can read the number here. The, in, the volume um, that it's estimating for exhaled volume, it's not actually measuring it. Um, and then a leak and then some more values here. If you want to change any settings, come uh, hit up to go to menu and then scroll down to settings and alarms. Select, it's not a touch screen. So you just have to scroll up and down. So we want mode, we can modify, and we can go to CPAP plus pressure support. This is what you're gonna use if you're using it for BiPAP, um, SIMV, or AC mode. Um, so we're gonna hit okay. We can change our tidal volume. We've got our rate, um, inspiratory time, normal is about one second, so we'll do that. Um, PEEP, we set at five. Trigger type, auto track is what I recommend if you do, um, Auto track sensitive or flow trigger, it might um, auto trigger a little bit. So auto track seems to work the best. Sign we like to leave off. Nebulizer we don't need. Then we go to some alarms. 30 seconds it will dis ring disconnect. Low inspiratory pressure is at seven. High inspiratory pressure at 50. Um, I've got a few of these alarms off. Apnea alarm, high and low tidal volume, low minute volume, high minute volume. Depending on your patient, you may, you can set these as you would for a normal patient. Um, then you just hit finish, activate the mode, yes. There are some other options that you can do. These are not necessary, so don't um, feel you need to go through these. Um, and really simple to use machine. Um, you can see ventilating well now. Again, they're exhaling through here. If I accidentally close this port, the machine comes a lot quieter. Um, and the patient is still ventilated. Um, but what's happening is there's nowhere for the exhaled air to go. Um, so this is going to be dangerous for the patient and the machine will recognize this and in about a minute will alarm. There we go. Low circuit leak. We're flashing. Um, when I remove it and the circuit leak comes back, the alarm should stop, um, although the alert will stay there. So there we go. We're no longer flashing. It's just alarming as a former alarm. So you can just hit reset to get rid of that. Um, We've got internal and detachable internal battery, um, so it gives us a fair amount of time. So if these are both full, going to CT or whatnot, should not be a problem. Um, when you're done with the machine, um, these tubings just need to be cleaned in the jeek. Um, and um, you power off by just hitting power off, and then yes, there we go. Um, I hope this machine works well for us.